with us and uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of mud wrestling at the end of the show. I'm going to learn the ancient art of Kushti. But it's time now for my first guest. Now, this man is this show's lucky charm. God help me. Since we last met, he's tied the knot with his lovely wife, Estelle, and he's busier than ever on EastEnders. Now, look, it's very complicated. I've had to write it down, it's that complicated. It's very complicated. Double-crossing, blackmailing storyline. And here to tell us more is the man who plays that bad boy, Jack Branning. Will you please welcome Mr. Scott Maslin? Let me hear you. <laughs> Scott, me thinks you are a bit of a sex symbol. Yes. You're all very sexy, a lot of you. <laughs> Do you know what? I've had to write down what's been going on with Jack Branning and EastEnders yeah. because it's so complicated. You need a Philadelphia lawyer to work it out, seriously. Yeah, yeah, they're mixing with it. I mean, there's... Um... Go on, sorry, mate. Do you want me to do my oh, bit? Yeah, yeah, go on, do your bit first, okay. and then I'll answer your complex right. storyline. Now, is he going to be leaving the square? No, he's definitely not leaving the square. Right, so that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I think, personally, watching it, he's in love with his, his sister-in-law, Tanya. It, well, he has been. I mean, it, you know, it's, it, like you said, it's complex. They, they set me up initially when I came into the show with Ronnie. She was his, um, I love, she was his love I love Rita, who plays Ronnie. She's fantastic. Is she a hoot? Yeah, she's brilliant. No, they're all, they're... Hey! Oh, what did you say then, mouth? <laughs> Oh, she plays Reese. Who just... No, no, Reese plays, plays Roxy. Roxy. That's it. Sam plays Ronnie. That's it, that's and it. And they're both fantastically equal in their ability. Because <laughs> so I've got to go back to work and I'll, um, I'll be in trouble if I don't say that. <laughs> and he's off. That's <laughs> all come out. Too much. Where's Daddy Wall? Box dragon out. <laughs> so, now, he, but he has a real spark for Ronnie. Yeah, now that's been going on since he started there. I mean, when, when he met her, you know, they... Them two are very similar, you know, both very, very stubborn and very, you know, one-track-minded, but... Because you're a great pal of Sam Janice's, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we, we've known each other for a long, long time. I mean, I'm godparent to their kids, you know. How is it? What, you know when you have to do the knacking? How do you... Oh, it's hilarious. I mean, you know, initially we were both... She says we, we look like tortoises when we're, you know... We're, <laughs> You know, it's but you know, it's, it's fun. It's a game we're playing. Yeah. You know, it's not yeah. real, and you know, she doesn't like it that you know I make out that I'm not interested in her and all the rest of it. But she's lovely. She's gorgeous, and everybody, you know, it's good fun. It's a yeah. hard job, my job. Oh, it's you a see. terrible job, Scott. I have to work a long time for those scenes. You know, it's hours and hours. I don't know. It's six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Imagine if I came in and said, "Right, you got to kiss Bert." I'd go straight home and suck a pickle. <laughs> you. I'd I'd do the sniff cat litter. Seriously. <laughs> So, Ronnie, she's got a big surprise in store for Jack, hasn't she? Yeah, I mean, they, they've, they've had their moment and, you know, they got to a stage in their relationship where, you know, he wanted more commitment from her, she didn't give it, she was more into her family, so he's basically... Them two have split ways. And, you know, the, we've had the Max Stacey and, and Tanya situation and now Jack's been there and he's, he's been friendly to, to Tanya and the kids, he's took care of them, but then them two have got to become an item. You know, he, in a way, Jack wants that family unit. He wanted that with Ronnie. He wanted to be yeah. settled down, have some kids, and it be, you know, not be complicated, but, you know, it's EastEnders and Do it is complicated. you think it's going to happen for them? Well, this is what's going on now. I She's starting not. to, you know, it's... It, it, I believe Jack loves Tanya. He loves, yeah. you know, he's in there. He's not, he's, he's not trying to get with Tanya to get back at Max, although there was a little bit... Potentially... Oh, don't kid the kid <laughs> Come on. He's gone in there for giving out for your space. A, he's, he? he's, a naughty, he's a naughty boy, he's you know what I mean? He is. But don't, doesn't everybody love the villain, really? <laughs> You don't want sweetness and light in your life, do you? You want to be yeah. sat there, stood up, sat there, stood up. That, that, that. You want to be... Yeah, you know what I'm on about. Now, his brother, why does he hate his brother so much? They've just had a few games since they were kids. I mean, um, Jack's seen as the golden boy by his dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Max, Max is... Uh, even though he's older than him, Max sees himself as being in the shadow, Jack, a little bit family-wise, and, you know, there's always been issues. Yeah. And, you know, like, Jack, like you said, Jack ain't as, as clean, white as snow, you know, he's got issues and he's very competitive and he gets what he wants, you know, by all means, necessarily. They're the right he, paired, aren't they? Yeah, no, they, they're good. I mean, he's, you know, everybody wants to have a go at Max yeah. in the square, yeah. you know, that's, yeah. that's where we're building. I mean, it's, you know, the, the situation with Tanya obviously kicks him off. He, he gets very aggressive and very, very twisted up about it. He wants his kids and his family back. Um, we're on our way out to France, you know, we've had enough of him trying to get in the way of things, so secretly we're planning to go away yeah. to France. 
But he finds out about it and, and plots to prevent us going, and, and then happen. it all kicks off. And that's, what's, that's where we're going with it, really. It just all gets very sinister and dark. And well, the other thing is, there's rumours that you're going to murder someone. Huh. Big tie him up while he's in with the wet mop to get the info out. No, there, there is, this is where it's leading. There's a, there's a whodunit. You know, Max ends up getting, um, you know, someone tries to kill him. Now, there's, there's, a, few people in, there's a few people in the frame. There is, there's a few, there's, there's a, a few. <laughs> there's, there's me, there's, there's Tanya, there's, you know, Stacy and, and uh, Bradley, and, yeah. you know, there's, and Dot. And... <laughs> <laughs> Dot exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll have, have you. you know. I'll have you. <laughs> Get my laundry. We've got a clip here, Scott. Bert, if you want, please. Roll tape. You don't want to go, do you? <sighs> you're keeping everything hush-hush, holding on to the club. You want everything kept on ice. Do you know why you're thinking like that? because you can't accept a simple truth. I chose Tanya. You don't want Tanya, you don't want France. This is all about your brother, and once you've screwed him, you're gonna be on a ferry back home where everything's waiting for you, but not in here, not in this club. I love her. You only love her while Max is watching. You can fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. You know why? Because you're too busy fooling yourself. Now get this into your head. If I wanted you, I would have had you, but I didn't. I chose Tanya. <laughs> now this storyline goes up to Christmas, doesn't it? And this is when Jack's past finally comes out. Well, that storyline's coming on now. This is all the stuff that build. You know, we're, we're filming the Christmas stuff stuff now. I mean, this this story in itself is coming. You know, 30. I think it's the 30th or 31st of October is the big is the big day when it all goes completely pear shaped. And what's his past? Has he got a Jack's? Yeah. Well, Jack, yeah, when we when I came in, he came from Manchester, and yeah. he'd, he'd, he'd been in the, he'd been in the not he came from Manchester because he's work he's obviously he's, he comes from London. I was going to say, <laughs> but he worked in Manchester in the in the police force in, in Manchester in a very you know in a unit that was that was you know a devious unit within the police force, and all that stuff's going to start coming out. You know wh why he left the police force? He didn't actually have a, a medical discharge. He made out he was discharged, but you know all this stuff comes out, and I, uh, I don't want to spoil it. No. I ate that in the papers too, that, about six weeks before. They say, so-and-so, so-and-so dies. You can't yeah. you tell me that for? Now, my wife always asks me, she's, she's always saying, you know, go on, that's one of the privileges I must have. And I yeah. said, no, because that would shatter your illusion. That's it. <laughs> so that's... she goes, all right, whack. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to my wife, what a fabulous wedding your wedding was. Oh, was I went to his wedding, oh, it was cracking. It was, it was, it was smashing, wasn't it? Had a bit it? of everything, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you were very emotional, weren't you? I held it together really well. He did not <laughs> have an ice oven. <laughs> no, I cried from the moment I saw her. It was ridiculous. I was actually telling people, you know, I've got to hold it together because Estelle's, you know, she, she's timid and she might pass out, so I've got to really keep it together. From the moment, because I didn't see her for two days, we decided to keep apart, you know. I think she just decided she didn't want to see me anymore for two days. <laughs> but then when I saw her, literally it all, I don't know what it is, you know, weddings are weddings, aren't they? And these, these things happen. I literally yeah. went, <laughs> and I couldn't hold it, could I? I literally, I was, I couldn't We're actually say like the vows. I said to him, I said to him, I said to him, what's up with him? What's up with you? And so he went, I will take you. <laughs> I was up with him. Just snot and tears. It was, it was really attractive, you know. Was... Apparently, I got up and sang. It's a bit of a legend. Blur. No, legend. Absolute legend. We had, um, I, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. That band were brilliant, weren't oh, they? Oh, they were fabulous. We had a big band, and, it was, just, and they were really... I mean, he was that. that once, he, once they came on, it was like, right, that's it. You couldn't that, stop them, you know what I mean? That was it. You were brilliant, though, I mate. pushed everybody off there. Yeah, hey, get off, Let me down hey. the front. Let me down the front. <laughs> and then I go up to his room, and I sit in the bed, and there's this fella there, and I go, ah, yeah. And I thought, where do I know you from? <laughs> and I'm looking at it. was Mr Big from Sex and yeah. the Sissy. What was he doing there? Chris, uh, <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I'm on the show. No, Chris, no. <laughs> Tell us, uh, Scott, he's tell us. He's, um, I've got uh, an American agent and we're, we're good friends. He was over and Chris was over doing, doing some stuff. So I met yeah. Chris before and, yeah. you know, he, they, they came uh, to have some fun at the party like we all did. Oh, it was a smashing weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm remember. still getting over it now. <laughs> <laughs> tell you the truth. What do you want for a wedding present? I never well, asked you. I've been wondering when it's coming, actually. <laughs> I've done six shows, you know. Six. I've got a nice cheese made I got off the eBay. Listen, I don't knock it. I'll have, I'll have one of those. Yeah. Good cup of tea. Nothing no, wrong the lid's bust, and when it goes off in the morning, boiling water fires <laughs> on you. <laughs> That's an alarm, tea yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Scott, it's great to see you. Thanks for coming on You're again. A long may you tell it. Can I say, everybody's got to vote for this man at the NTAs? Because he is a true. <laughs>
a true legend. It's sh shameful. No, he is. True legend. Shameful. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it. Mr. Scott Marsling, come on. <laughs> well, that wedding stuff. <laughs> it was bad, mate. It's wicked, it mate. It was bad. And in a moment, we've got mud wrestling. Do you fancy a bit of mud wrestling? Oh, no. <laughs> we'll pass on that. <laughs> but first, look, how's that for glamour? <laughs> What's Maslin there on the ends? No, I mean, uh... <laughs> no, he, li he likes them, but I yeah. like them. I, I love looking. <laughs> it's him with his wedding ring. <laughs> it's even better when you look after. Look at. Nice. Take it easy. Shut up. Ah! No. 